Atlas is a game with massive potential. Problem is, at the moment with its less than perfect launch, people are only seeing the bad things. Let me start by saying I have been loving this game. It does some things really well. Building and customizing a ship is great, exploring in rare mats. The system is great, hunting for treasure is an alright experience, and ship vs ship PvP is fun for the most part. These are the strong points of Atlas currently, but the problem is they are overshadowed by the weak points which I want to discuss today. The biggest one I currently see is the very unsatisfying PvP. In Atlas, ground PvP should be emphasized. We're pirates, after all, and pirates are famous for boarding ships and taking crew without sinking the ship. This was possible when Atlas first released, as barrels and flame arrows actually did damage, but these have been nerfed. Flame arrows needed it though. But now it's virtually impossible to board an enemy ship, and this stems from a few issues. As you can see in the clip here, the first issue is gunplay. Guns do not do enough damage unless the player's naked, like, like this first one here. It does damage to nakeds, if it's a headshot, for the most part. But, you'll see in the rest of this clip, you just cannot do damage to the NPCs currently, so you pretty much cannot board a ship. So, this NPC on the sail, I hit about 4-5 to five times in the head, doing 42 damage, and it survives. There's really no way I could have done damage when boarding the ship in this experience. And not to mention the reload times, the minigame. There's just a lot of unsatisfying things with the PvP currently. And guns should be fun, you know? These mechanics aren't fun for the players. And I get that there needs to be balance so that melee is still effective, but currently melee is more effective than guns, so it should be possible to play both ways. And guns should be far, far more effective than they currently are. They should kill an NPC realistically in two hits if the NPC is naked, like this one that was on the sale here. Especially its head. Its head does not have armor. So I really want guns to get a massive buff. I think this will make the gameplay a lot more fun, because a lot of us play the game for the foot combat, like myself. And at the moment, we can't really do that, and I know a lot of people have been leaving because they, they just can't board ships anymore, and that was the funnest part for them. And the other thing stopping boarding is automated AI on swivels. In Atlas, it's possible to attach an AI, an NPC, to a swivel cannon to defend your ship. And now, this isn't so bad on the ship, as there was many ways to board a ship through the hole and glitchy means. And it's good for solo players who can remain relatively safe, but the problem is it's too hard to kill the swivel AI currently, due to the aforementioned nerfs. So I really want boarding PvP to be buffed. It should be a massive part of Atlas. It should be a real skill to it, like gliding down onto a mask like this. It should reward you, but at the moment it really doesn't. Getting away from the, from the boarding and ground PvP on ships, the same issue can be found on land, but 10 times compounded. Currently you can equip a bear with a cart and put an NPC on a swivel cannon behind it and run around auto-aiming, aimbotting people basically. Even a blister can be placed on them currently. Now, this is a huge issue because it takes away any skill that can be had on ground PvP. It takes away the skill and replaces it with an automated system. And that's the problem that I'm finding in Atlas currently. It's emphasizing too much automation. Everything's becoming automated. And it's taking away any skill that the players need to use. You want there to be a skill ceiling, not just a, a skill of grinding and getting good mats, which has been the issue with Ark for a long time, is it's whoever's got the better stuff wins. There should also be a skill aspect. Now, I really just want them to nerf the fact that you can put AI on the bear carts because it's just, it's destroying ground PvP, it's destroying the fun for a lot of us. So this is the PvP problem in Atlas. The AI just makes it so it becomes an automated player versus AI system. There's no skill, it's just mindless and not fun. So that's just some opinions I've had from playing the game for 300 hours so far. The next point is kind of off point, off base, but it flows well to my points after this, and that's the K-Mode third person orbital camera. And this also mitigates skill and, su and surprise in PvP. Players can just use the orbital camera to see the enemies from way off in the distance. And it's just derpy when you can see under the map. I've never understood why this game and arc allow the player to see under the map. You should never be able to orbital camera under the map. So I really hope they do something to the orbital camera and nerf that as well because I reckon it would be amazing to have this game where you couldn't see around a rock, you know? You didn't know what was around there, you didn't know who was around there, but currently there's not that in this game. And this leads me to my next point, and that is the derpiness. You guys don't know what derpy means, it just means something that is stupid or corny and looks weird, you know, it doesn't make sense. That's currently a bit the case in the shipbuilding in uh, Atlas, it's becoming on the arc levels of unrealism. Buildings such as multiple armor plating levels, poking through ship holes, 
Yeah, and I think it needs to be limited, like, on ships, so that you can't just spam a heap of armor and crazy stuff on the ship, because it also, it makes it relevant the point of hunting for better BPs, because currently, you can get better BPs to replace your planks on your ship, but at the moment, you can just put armor over the top of it anyway, so it mitigates that whole BP farming system in a way. You only need it for cannons currently. So, I really want them to sort of put a few more regulations on shipbuilding, I think, just so that people who don't play Ark can get into this game and not see it from a distance and think how stupid and how weird it looks. Because I know from an outsider perspective, looking at Ark and some of the mechanics in there, it's a big... It, it looks very strange and foreign, and I want Atlas to look more realistic than Ark did and not go into crazy, unrealistic player builds. This game should be a pirate game for all players, not just ARK players, and I think that's the issue. It's becoming too similar to ARK. This includes the starter experience, which is currently punching trees and harvesting with your hands. And this is another derpy weird thing, like punching trees should never be a mechanic. It's just, it's off-putting for people who, who think this is an ARK reskin, you know? I want this game to do well and I don't want it to be compared to ARK, so I think they need to change that. And basically you should just spawn on your ship, spawn with access to your ship straight away, get on your ship and then the tutorials and the farming should happen to refill your ship and fix it up. And I think that would get a lot more people into the game. I just watched Lazy Peon's video and this was an issue in his video. He was trying to get on his ship for so long that it turned him off the game and he's not playing it because, well for starters he didn't know how to turn the sails, but that's besides the point, it took him too long to get onto his ship. I think if you start this game on the strong points, which is sailing the ships, it'll go well, it'll bring a lot more people into the game. The sailing and the exploring is the biggest and strongest part of this game at the moment. So these are the main issues I currently see in Atlas. Obviously it's a very PvP focused video, as that's what I mostly play. Um, there's a lot more issues like placing large sails on schooners which make them virtually impossible to chase, which is pretty OP. And obviously issues with performance, rust building cupboard, anybody? I think they should implement like a rust building cupboard system to make structures smaller because in this game Structures don't need to be as big as they currently are. Um, and then they could buff walls again and make, make a single wall stronger and then bases would be smaller and would fix performance in a lot of ways. But anyway, that's, all, that's not necessarily what this video is about. I'm not talking about performance issues, that's going to be the case in early access. I'm talking about PvP issues. So in summary, I'd say buff guns, make guns fun again. Get rid of a lot of the AI automation, especially on bare swivel carts and possibly limit it on ships. Fix K mode. Get rid of the exploitive armor on ships. Limit ship building. Streamline the starter experience. And I think that will bring some new players into Atlas and keep the current players happy. Because I make this video because I'm worried about the player base dying and I want it to keep going. And I think it stems from some of these core issues. Obviously there's a lot more issues that, that have a lot of bearing on it such as the recent change to stone and all of that. But I feel like these are pretty substantial issues. And if you guys agree, make sure to smash a like on this video, share it to the devs. Hopefully they hear us. Like I said at the start, I love this game, but currently it's dying due to the huge amount of recent changes. And yes, it's early access and I faith the devs will turn it around, but hopefully sooner rather than later. I'll catch you guys in the next one.